Just back on this Tech 465 that I was looking at in my last video. This was the completely none worker uh, with two burnt out components. I've took um, about 10 minutes after I posted the last video, I decided to replace these components. Um, I put a 1.2k resistor back in there and I've put a 1N4148 instead of the 4152 um, diode. That resistor doesn't seem to be getting hot at all. I then took the plunge and uh, connected it up to a Variac and brought it up very slowly over about 15 minutes. And we actually got a trace on the screen, which is great, I thought. I've checked the voltages on the test points here and they're all absolutely within, within spec. Um, I think the 55 was dead on, the, the plus 15 was plus 15.02, so they're all within spec. Now, the problem with this trace is you cannot position it vertically. So at the moment I've got the scope coupled up through the uh, calibrator down here. I can't position it, and while it seems to be triggering... I don't know if you just saw that, so so the trigger light's on now. So we're getting a bit of a bit of a pulse there. You can't position that trace. If you put it on the alternate mode, you don't get two beams coming up either. You don't get two sweeps across. I've got the scope set on 50 milliseconds. It's DC coupled both channels. Um, we've got A lock knobs. Um, everything's up on the scope. So nothing out there. So what I've done next is connected the vertical out on the rear panel up to my Tech 453 and there you can see it is actually showing the calibrator signal and if I turn the volt per division knob on the 465 on channel A you can see you can see it doesn't work properly but at least we're getting a signal out that might be some contacts or something need cleaning So, does the very hubble work on this? Yep. Good, so that, that bit works. Um, pressing the trigger view does absolutely nothing, and I've cleaned the contacts on the back there. I've cleaned those. Um, I've gone in to channel one and clean the contacts in there um, yeah so I need to uh, read the manual don't I follow the block diagrams through and see where the signal splits off so we are getting somewhere albeit um, probably a harder problem to solve at the moment so I'm going to check some components out and um, I've got a couple of days off so uh, we're going to see where we get to. Thanks for watching.